one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And you talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps in the grappling game. He is able to use throws in judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend he's truly truly something special i don't think he can take you down but tonight he doesn't have to so he does not in have this to. matchup prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the kings same thing and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy there's no wasted movements everything he does he does with a purpose he goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish and he gets it done bruce lee is the absolute best bruce lee is the man his grappling his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight but there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting the takedown right yeah. away. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee, set to go for our co-main event. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bazooka. Fighting out of the red corner, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! All right, Herb Dean, our referee right, right. for this one, just about right. to get underway. Right. right, pretty visuals in every direction as we return to the stomping grounds at the Etihad Arena here in beautiful Abu Dhabi. Mixed martial arts, of course, continuing to make its presence felt here in the United Arab Emirates. And we have got a banging show for you here tonight. Let us now get to the action. Lee gets caught by the solid uppercut there. He's a hard guy to hit. That one certainly found the target. Over and over, this guy's getting hit right in his face. Able to connect with a beautiful jab. Lands a nice leg kick. Yeah. That punch, no good. So about a minute into this one, and not much in terms of action, DC. I don't know if you need to use the restroom, but it might be a good time. That thud on the table, that was me falling asleep. I'm sorry, John. I got to wake up. Guys, get going. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. That one snuck in. Nice strike. He loaded up there on that high kick. Back to the jab now. Just over three minutes to go. Misses with the right hand. 
beautiful block there. Oh, nice right hand, John. Oh. Another straight punch landed there by Lynch. Just missed with the elbow there. Single leg takedown is good. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. He needs to shove the knee, hip heist, and get back up to your feet. Lee getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Lee. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Clipped him with a right hand there. Four strikes to the head. Oh, another stiff jab here. That's about as good as it gets with that weapon. Great block there. Oh, there's that patented leg kick. Under a minute now to go in the opening round. Effective strike there by Lee. Beautiful setup to the leg kick. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Really good emphasis on that kick there. 30 seconds now to go on the round. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here. The punch is good. 20 seconds left. Ten seconds now to go on the round. Oh, high amplitude head kick. What a round. All right, so leg kicks on, leg kicks, the big storyline in that round. DC, take us through the replay, man. Yeah, he was, I mean, what a display of high-level striking. What a display of getting the leg to the target very, very quick. So quick that your opponent cannot react. Great job. Ready. Ready. Go. Second round on the way. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Lee going for the body. Missed with that kick. Nasty body kick downstairs. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique. There is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. All right, so another stiff jab there. Really good use of that weapon, not unlike he did in the previous round. Well, these gentlemen are absolutely going at it. Let's see who'll have the upper hand. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. 
the issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Oh, he missed with that right hand. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his handling ball. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Oh, big head kick there. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Pretty good straight punch there by Lee. Single. Lee's got the full mount. as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Two minutes to go in the round. Straight punch. Nice head kick. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your footwork. It's work, guys. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, block. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot was what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh! So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Solid punch lands for him. Clean hook there. Quick right hand land. Oh, he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. His nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings oh. from his opponent. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice 
his kick is blocked. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson ring is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take bullets. Oh, he's in real trouble now. Well, that is as bad a cut as we have seen in some time. You see the referee monitoring things closely. We might get a stop or shoot. Yeah, he needs to monitor. And, John, many times, we are on the officials to stop the fight. This is one of those times where it needs to happen right now. Back and forth we go. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. All right, so the ref is going to step in here and call on the doctor to look at what is a now mangled nose. This could be the end of the fight. It could be the end of the fight. There's a lot of blood. The blood's going down into the mouth. I mean, the nose could be broken. He still seems spirited and mentally in this fight, and to that end, to that end, the doctor will allow him to continue, at least for now. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so some pretty significant adversity here, but the fight is going to continue. The doctor. He's hurt. Look up. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. This fight's going to be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the taking. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon tonight. Back and forth we go! Oh, he's, he's spraying blood now. Holy smokes. Nice punch lands over the top. Big inside kick.
We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 33 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few men 